Is artificial intelligence going to take our jobs? That question is on the minds of millions of people. It's hard to say exactly what that moment is, but, but there will come a point where no job is needed. You can have a job if you want to have a job for sort of personal satisfaction, but the AI will be able to do everything. And it's not a concern without basis. AI is no longer a promise of the future. It's here, reshaping the world faster than anyone expected. What once took decades to change is now shifting in years, even months. Whole jobs vanish overnight, replaced by systems that never sleep, never. And AI really is different. And that means we have to think about it creatively and honestly. We have to push our analogies and our metaphors to the very limits to be able to grapple with what's coming. Because this is not just another invention. AI is itself an infinite inventor. And yes, this is exciting and promising and concerning and intriguing all at once. To be quite honest, it's pretty surreal. In just one decade, we have gone from clumsy virtual assistants to artificial intelligences capable of writing articles, designing images, answering medical inquiries, and even debating complex ideas. But the most unsettling thing is that this is not some distant future. It is already happening. Companies are replacing entire departments with automated models, and many workers feel that something big is approaching something that could radically transform their way of making a living. And with each new advance, the question becomes more urgent. Which jobs will survive and which will disappear? Um, you had said around 2017, you thought in 10 to 15 years, about 40 to 50% of all jobs would be replaced by AI. Is that still an accurate timeline in your opinion? Um, what the heck is everyone going to do when they don't have a job in three years, if so? It's actually uncannily accurate. <laughs> People have criticized me for being too aggressive in the 2017, 18, 19. And I was a little nervous at the time, but when Gen, Gen AI came, came out, I think everybody's on the bandwagon and believing that is the a correct pace. Artificial intelligence is advancing at an unstoppable pace. And with it, some traditional jobs are beginning to lose ground, especially those that involve repetitive and predictable tasks, such as data entry, basic machine operation, or customer service with standard responses. These roles are being replaced by systems that can do the same work faster without errors, and without rest. It's not just a matter of losing jobs, but rather that the market naturally adjusts which tasks have value. This process may seem threatening, but in reality, it is part of the natural evolution of the market. As certain jobs disappear, new roles emerge that demand specialization and technological knowledge. Do you really think that we're gonna get rid of lawyers? No, they're just <laughs> gonna have more sophisticated lawsuits, right? Do you really think we're gonna get rid of politicians? No, they'll just have more platforms to mislead you, sorry. Although artificial intelligence is advancing rapidly, there are certain human skills that remain beyond its reach. Creativity, for example, is still an exclusive territory of the human mind. Machines can analyze data and generate patterns, but the spark of innovation and the ability to imagine something completely new is something only we can do. There is also emotional intelligence, the ability to understand and connect with others on a deep level. Empathy, moral judgment, and intuition play a key role in jobs that require leadership, negotiation, or personal care. And these are difficult to replicate in an algorithm. It's really important that we stick to the values that we have in our society. So it's very important that human freedom be preserved in this. A lot of these are not technical issues, they're really business decisions. Artificial intelligence raises many doubts and even some fear. And it is natural to wonder whether it will complicate or simplify our lives. However, beyond the initial fear, AI has an impressive potential to accelerate the innovation process like never before in history. Imagine AI acting as a catalyst, capable of analyzing enormous amounts of data in seconds, finding invisible patterns, and proposing solutions that would be impossible for the human eye to detect. This not only speeds up the creation of new technologies, but also opens the door to solving complex problems that affect humanity. From improving medical diagnoses, optimizing energy resources, to creating models for more sustainable cities, this ability to drive innovation means that global challenges, which once seemed impossible to solve quickly, now have a formidable ally. AI combined with a doctor is much better at doing diagnoses in difficult cases than a doctor alone. So we're going to get much better healthcare from these things. And they'll design better drugs too. Uh, education is another field? Yes. In education, we know that um, if you have a private tutor, you can learn stuff about twice as fast. Um, these things eventually will be extremely good private tutors who know exactly what it is you misunderstand and exactly what example to give you to clarify it to you so you understand. So maybe you'll be able to learn things three or four times as fast with these things. Um, that's bad news for universities, but good news for people. Artificial intelligence is advancing relentlessly. And the question is, 
How do we avoid being left behind? The key is not to resist, but to transform. To learn not only the technical skills, but also those things that machines cannot copy. Creativity, intuition, and critical thinking. The real advantage lies in flexibility, the ability to reinvent yourself and explore unexpected paths. Only those who embrace change and cultivate an open mind will discover the hidden opportunities behind this revolution. In this new game, adapting is not optional. It is the only way to turn the threat into a driving force that propels your professional future. What's your advice to someone who is 20 years old listening to this um, or through this? What's your advice to someone at the beginning of their uh, sort of academic and professional career, given what you know is going on in AI right now? Prem? I think it's don't waste your time learning how to code. Because I think the new okay, language that's is going to be, I think new code language is going to be English. And I think that uh, absolutely learn as fast as you humanly possibly can on all AI and all AI modalities. And I think if you, and then once you find your passion, I think you're going to then find a very narrow AI to empower you to do what you're, what you're really set out to do. Artificial intelligence is transforming work and also how salaries are paid. When machines perform repetitive tasks faster and cheaper, the value of those tasks decreases. But here's the interesting part. The market by its nature tends to reward efficiency. If you do more in less time, if you deliver better and faster results, your value goes up. And in a world where AI takes over the repetitive, people will be able to focus on what truly matters, doing less but with greater impact. This, in turn, pushes salaries up for those who provide real and unique value. The market doesn't stay static. It adjusts and rewards those who know how to take advantage of this new reality. The key is to understand that doing less doesn't mean earning less, but being more valuable in what you do. These tools will radically increase that productivity. There's a study that says that we will, under the set of assumptions around agentic AI and discovery and the scale that I'm describing, there's a lot of assumptions, that you'll end up with something like 30% increase in productivity per year. The econ having now talked to a bunch of economists, they have no models for what that kind of increase in productivity looks like. We just have never seen it. It didn't occur in, in any rise of a, of a democracy or a kingdom in our history. Artificial intelligence is changing the world of work, yes, but the idea that everyone will lose their jobs and only a few AI owners will get rich is an illusion that doesn't hold up to scrutiny. The economic system is much smarter than that. If most people had no income, who would pay for the products and services those owners offer? The market needs consumers with purchasing power to keep functioning. That's why evolution doesn't mean massive destruction, but rather a transformation where talent, adaptation, and innovation will be the currency of exchange. AI is not a ruthless enemy, but a powerful tool that can accelerate innovation and open new opportunities for those willing to change. Adapting and learning become essential to turn this technological revolution into a springboard toward a more prosperous future.